Hello friends, what's up? Welcome back to a, another video. I know it's been a long time coming, but I am officially filming on my new camera. And this thing is nice. I'm like looking at myself and that's something I'm about to get used to is not looking at myself. Anyway, I know it's been, again, a long time coming. I bought this camera back in July. I post link here so you can watch it. Um, Cause yeah, it's been a, been a minute, but I had to get like a SD card converter. Cause my MacBook is one of the newer ones and they don't have the SD card insertion thing. So I had to get something to do that. And then I've just been procrastinating. Anyway, I've got it now. And now I'm filming on the camera. If you're new here welcome if you are not you already know the deal i love fall i'm a fall witch i'm a fall girl i'm a fall pumpkin fall everything and today i'm going to be telling you some of my 2021 fall favorites that includes music food activities you name it if you guys are ready go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified anytime i post let's get talking fall y'all get talking fall y'all okay um so the first category we are starting with is music now i never really knew that there were like fall halloween playlists but this year i've really just like dug into it and specifically like vintage fall halloween playlist and i'm gonna give you a few songs that i've just been obsessed with there's so many different playlists on youtube that you can listen to and i would start by searching like autumn vintage playlist or halloween vintage music and there are so many good ones but i'm gonna give you a few songs that just get me going in the fall halloween spirit i listen to these playlists while i clean while i work while i cook i mean you name it like i've just been listening to these non-stop a few of them are Frank Sinatra's version of witchcraft. I'm going to put all the links down below so you can listen to the full song. It's real cute. I'm sure you've heard it before. Num, 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 num. There's no sweeter witch than you. Yeah, I don't really know. So number one, Frank Sinatra's cover of witchcraft. Next, we have Autumn in New York, sung by Billie Holiday. I used to live in New York, and when I listen to it, I just get all of the fall feels. It reminds me of the leaves changing color, of walking through Central Park with my friends, it's also just a lovely song. It's about falling in love. It's beautiful. Give it a listen. Next is Tis Autumn by Nate King Cole. Most of these are kind of like smooth jazzy songs and I don't know. I go through phases of things that I like and I'm really just into this old vintage music. Autumn Leaves by Doris Day. September in the Rain sung by Sarah Vaughn. And Bewitched sung by Steve Lawrence. Give these a listen. I'm sure once you just go down this rabbit hole, you'll find more greats and you should let me know. Comment down below if you have a favorite Halloween song of course there's always you know i put a spell on you from hocus pocus or spooky scary skeletons which are cool but i can only listen to those like a few times and then i'm like okay uh, i've had enough but these are just nice lovely it makes you want to walk around with the one that you love and drink coffee i don't know that's how i feel okay moving on i showed off these pillows in my last video but aren't they just so cute like they're just they're cute. That one says hello pumpkin. Next on my fall favorites list is Halloween TV shows or spooky TV shows to get into. All of these I've seen probably multiple times and I recommend all of them. Number one is American Horror Story, specifically season one. I think the first five seasons are all fairly good. I can't say that I've seen like six on, but you know, everyone can form their own opinions, watch them. I believe that they're all on Netflix. Some might be on Hulu. I love season one. It was the first season that I saw, so you know. Same thing when like people watch The Office or Parks and Rec first, whichever one they saw first is kind of the one that they prefer. Anyway, so I saw season one first and season one is entitled Murder House and you get a lot of clues from the title alone. So the story follows a therapist named Ben Harmon, his wife Vivian and his daughter Violet as they move across the country to Los Angeles into their new home, Murder House, which they didn't know that was the name of it, but it follows those three and their story and their past and the past of the house and it's really good it is so good i actually first watched this in i think eighth grade so i was about to leave middle school about to go to high school regardless probably too young to watch it so this is definitely for the adult viewer or a late high school viewer so just be weary but really really good next is a show series kind of similar to american horror story in that each season is a different plot and it doesn't like continuously go on I recommend both seasons, which there's only two seasons out. 
thus far, and that is The Haunting of Hill House and The Haunting of Bly Manor. When I tell you the first season, which was the season I watched first, which is probably why I like it better, Haunting of Hill House had me gagging. I was not expecting everything that went down in that season. I was like, oh my gosh, this is heavy. This is heavy. But it was really, really good. And so is Bly Manor. To give you a little taste of what Hill House is about, this is from IMDb. Also, I, I reference IMDb Pro, Rotten Tomatoes, a lot of those things in my videos. Flashing between past and present, a fractured family confronts haunting memories of their old home and the terrifying events that drove them from it. And that is very vague, but it's very specific once you watch the first couple of episodes and you kind of understand what's going on. It's wild. It's wild. So that was Hill House. Let me give you a little taste of Bly Manor. After an au pair's tragic death, Henry hires a young American nanny to care for his orphaned niece and nephew who reside at Bly Manor with their chef Owen, gatekeeper Jamie, and their housekeeper Miss Gross. This season it deals a lot with failed relationships, paying attention to the world around you. I don't know. I don't want to give anything away, but it is really good. I know a lot of people actually prefer Bly Manor over for Hill House and again to each his own as long as you watch it that's all I care about and both of those are Netflix originals and you can watch them on your Netflix subscription how could I not include this iconic 90s show you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about and it's charmed and if you don't know what I'm talking about it is a fabulous TV show that took over in the late 90s early 2000s and it follows the story of three witches and how they find out that they are the charmed ones and they're good witches and here to protect the world of evil and it takes place in San Francisco I don't know. I really want to go to San Francisco mainly because of this TV show and actually many TV shows or movies actually take place in San Francisco and I want to go there. Like Prince's Diaries, you know, I've got many reasons to go to San Francisco and I just want to go and see the Charmed House and everything. You can watch it on Pluto TV or the Peacock streaming service if you happen to have that. Okay, moving on to my last recommended fall TV show. If I have to choose one thing that I love more than spooky season, it would have to be vampires. I love vampires. I love vampire movies, TV shows, all of it. That's why I'm recommending for you to watch The Vampire Diaries. This is on Netflix. I'm actually re-watching it as we speak. I first watched the show in college and I really was attached to these characters and this story. It actually takes place in Virginia, which is where I'm from. So I felt a real connection to this show and I still do. It follows the small town of Mystic Falls in Virginia where a young girl named Elena Gilbert has just lost her parents in a tragic car wreck. And this new boy comes to school named Stefan Salvatore and they of course fall in love. And Stefan's a vampire, FYI. But things get a little tricky when his brother Damon Salvatore moves to town and it creates this love triangle and don't we all love a good love triangle? Anyway, this show has about seven seasons and they're all really feisty. So I really, really recommend this show. It's on Netflix, get to it. Next on my list of fall favorites are some activities that I'm gonna be doing. This Sunday, I'm meeting up with a group of friends and we're actually gonna carve some pumpkins. It doesn't feel right to not carve a pumpkin at Halloween time. I've been carving pumpkins all my life. I think maybe one year, maybe two years, I didn't carve a pumpkin, but I carved one last year in quarantine, and I'm gonna carve one again this year, but with some friends, because we can kind of hang out. I mean, we're all vaccinated. So then next Sunday, I'm actually going to the Los Angeles Haunted Hayride with some of my castmates from Arena. And that's the new show I booked, and you can watch that right here. It looks so spooky, so spooky. I'm gonna put the website down below, so if you wanna look at it, whether you're in the California area or if you just wanna see from the East Coast, you can, because she looks real spook. But it looks really bad, and I cannot wait. I love a good spook, I love a good hayride. I don't know the order of everything, but obviously we're gonna do the hayride. There's a walkthrough portion and there's a corn maze. And I think the corn maze is probably gonna get me. Just like scare me because these zombies or whatever they are look really scary. But the makeup and the budget for this thing is top tier. So I'm really, really excited to do that. I need to do this like as soon as I finish recording this. I need to order my dang Halloween costume. So I know what I wanna be. I'm gonna try and do a few looks, but my main, my main Halloween costume is like absolutely crazy. But I think it's gonna be really funny. <laughs> once I get everything. I'm excited, but I just have to order everything and it's kind of something I have to like practice doing. It's gonna be crazy. I'll make a video about it, just you wait. And the last activity that I like to do around the fall season is buy fall decorations. Of course, I have my pillows. Like, this looks 
so good. Um, I have a fall candle, so it's pumpkin spice season. Look at it, yum, yum, yum. I wish I could like <laughs> let you smell it, but um, it doesn't work like that. I've had this lit all day. It's been a crisp 66 in LA and I love it. It feels like fall. So I've got this. I've also, let me just show you. And I've got pumpkin fever hand soap. I want to get a cute wreath to put on my door, but I need to put some pep in my staff before the season's over and Christmas suffocates us. And I need candy corn because candy corn's great. If you don't like it, you're wrong. So kidding. I just like candy corn. Yes, it may be wax, but I like candy corn. Next are spooky movies. My video last week was actually all about my top 13 spooky movies. And I think you need 13 because like 13 in and of itself is a spooky number. But you can watch that video right here. I'll also paste it down below. But just to give you a little taste of some of my favorite Halloween movies, they are Tim Burton's Corpse Bride, Practical Magic starring the one and only Sandra Bullock, whom I love, Hocus Pocus, and Halloween Town. But again, I talk about them all in a separate video, so I don't wanna waste time in this video talking about some I've already talked about, so go check out that video once you're done with this one. And the last, arguably the best thing about the fall season is the food. There are so many amazing flavors that we really only get to savor at this time of year. One of them being pumpkin spice lattes. I hate this stigma, let me get real with you. I hate the stigma that because you enjoy pumpkin spice lattes, you're basic, and it's like, I think there are real problems in the world, so why don't you just worry about that and stop hating on people for enjoying a drink, you know what I mean? I feel like we could argue this with like every season, like, oh, if you eat peppermint at Christmas time, you're basic, like what? Who cares? Like literally, who cares? Anyway, pumpkin spice lattes, I've been drinking them like a maniac just because, you know, Duncan only has them at this time of year, and I try to drink them as much as I can, which is a lot. I know there are so many other different fall drinks, so comment down below what you drink I've never had an iced chai latte. I know that there's a way you can get like a chai latte with like pumpkin foam and that's apparently really good. I'm scared. I'm I'm getting better at trying new things, but I hate wasting a dollar. I hate getting something and I'm like, I don't like it. So comment down below what your fall drinks are. I like sweet things. I'm not really a coffee coffee kind of gal. I like a taste of coffee. Not like a hint of coffee, a taste. Like a black coffee could never, would never, but I, I need something sweet. So. Let me know. Oh my gosh, I have this find that I have to share with you right now. So I got these at Walmart. Pumpkin cookie sandwiches or pumpkin sandwich cookies. And as you can see, the whole top row, gone. Didn't did make it th through the week. I've eaten them. And it's hard because I live alone, so I just like can devour things, but look at it. So we're gonna eat one. <laughs> They're like soft, the cookie. Look at that. It's a soft cookie and the cream tastes like a pumpkin. Yummy. Mmm. Dang. It's literally perfect. It's perfect. I'm gonna finish this later because I gotta move on. But 10 out of 10 recommend. And I know there's Walmart everywhere, so you go get them. Moving on to so my last fall treat that I really, really enjoy that kind of growing up only would partake in the colder wintery season in that soup slash stew season. If you don't know what stew is, stew is a combination of solid foods that have been cooked and liquid and kind of turned into a gravy style ordeal. It kind of sounds weird, but when you have the best stew that's been cooked for like 24 hours, like, cause you gotta like let it marinate and congeal a little, it is so God. Stew can include many ingredients, including vegetables and an assortment of meats, especially tougher meats such as beef, poultry, and sausages. But I like my stew homemade. I'm sure I could buy a can of soup or something, but it just doesn't compare. There's this guy back at home and he would make this stew every year and my family and I would buy like quarts of it and freeze it. The best stew. So those are my 2021 fall favorites. Some of them are pretty consistent from fall to fall. I'm a girl who knows what she likes and I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna let you know what else is good. So if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified anytime I post. And I'll see you guys here next time. As always, keep it positive. Bye friends.